Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's Adobe XD tutorial I'm going to show you this really simple card horror effect. So you can see that we have the opacity reduced on this image and we have just these two texts but when I hover the entire card is going to expand and it's going to follow the hover of my mouse. So let's get started. So here is the project file for this tutorial. You can get this file if you join my membership. Link is going to be down in the description below. Membership contains all of the courses, all of the design products, as well as the mentorship and these practice files for the YouTube tutorials. So if you're interested, link is going to be down in the description below. You can get it all for one simple price. So now let's get started with the tutorial and I'm going to open it up right here in my layers. So you can see that I have this product card image. And if I click on my product BG, which is the oral card itself, you can see the dimensions right here. And one more thing, I just set it up uh, this uh, 1920 by 1080 artboard just so that I can put somewhere uh, something inside of here. So this card, as you can see, has the product BG, it has the text and it has the image inside. So if I zoom in just a little bit, you can see that we have this uh, hover state and we have this hover state. So default state and hover state, default state, obviously, as you can see, is four columns wide. Hover state is six columns wide. And depending on your layout, you can use percentages, you can use the concrete values. So here we have width of 792, but the original width is 515. So you can really play around with these values if you want to. I just like to set up my grid like this and then do it like so. So for this first state, what we have is we have this text with a mask. So I included this paragraph, as you can see, and it's going to expand outwards uh, for the overall width of our card inside of the hover state, but it's going to be masked. So what I did is just created a rectangle like this. I hit um, shift control M or shift command M if you're on a Mac and then simply masked out this text and I simply moved this rectangle instead of like this, I moved it like so. So I just uh, masked this entire text like this. Also, what I've done is I reduced the height of the product BG because if I select it all, you can see we are inside of the stack and we are inside of the vertical stack like so. So these elements are going to stack like this. You can also change them to horizontal stack if you want to, but I'm not going to do that for this tutorial. And also for the text, what I've done, as you can see, is I have the left padding and right padding value of 20. So it's going to follow and expand uh, however you expand your card like this. Finally, for the image, what I've done is really quite simple. I reduced the opacity to 40%, as you can see. And if we go back to hover, what I've done is I included the opacity for the image uh, at 100%. This is not scaled. This is just Adobe XD doing its thing. So when you drop your image inside, it's going to look like this. But when you scale it, it's going to zoom to the center portion of your image. Also, what I've done is I expanded that mask. If I select it right here, you can see it's now expanded. So it's not like this. It's completely expanded outwards like so. And I also expanded the overall uh, height of my card. And if I hover right here, you can see I have 36 right here and I have 36 right here. So on both ways for my text. Finally, what I've done is I simply matched my grid layout. So instead of four columns wide, it's now six columns wide. So if I go back between default state and hover state, you can see how that looks like. And one final touch I added is if you go to prototype, you can actually edit your hover state. So here is how it looks like. It's at um, ease in out now and 0.6. It was at just ease in and 0.3. So if I switch it back to the default 0.3, press enter. And if I switch it to is in right here, if I hit preview, you can see how that looks like. So it's extremely fast and it's snappy at the end. So if that's the look you're going for, if that's the look you really like, then you can simply switch it around right here. You can use the bounce, you can use the wind up, you can use the really slow transition at one second. You can even go all the way up to five seconds. So you can really play around and achieve the look you're going for. I really like this look because it's easing into the animation and easing out of the animation at the end. So it really sells this effect. You can have multiple of these cards. You can arrange them in a stack. You can position them next to each other. So it's really all up to you how you want to do it.
So that's basically it for this tutorial. Once again, remember, if you want to get this file, you can join my membership. Link is going to be down in the description below. Make sure to subscribe because I upload new videos every single week on Adobe XD, passive income techniques, design tips, and much more. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.